What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. Today's video, I want to talk about chemistry style trading, how you guys can use this for your advantage, and make millions of coins in FIFA over the next couple months, really. You can do this at any time of the year. You can apply what I'm talking to you guys about in this video to special cards in the future. You can do this with gold cards at any time. It is one of the easiest methods to do, and it's one of the most effective methods to do as well. With any type of budget, you can have 20k, you can have 50k, you can have 100k, you can have a million, you can have 5 mil, and you can do these sort of trading methods and make 100k an hour if you're efficient enough, 50k if you're not getting as many snipes, but you will be able to get so many coins by doing this. And I'm going to show you over the next two videos, one position change and two chem style for this video, how you guys can make coins doing both methods. So before we get into the video today, can we get 50 likes on the video? That'd be awesome. Subscribe to YouTube if you guys are new around here as well. Appreciate all the new support on the videos and the live streams recently. Get involved with Twitch and get involved with the trading discord, which in this video will give you a full list of players to chemistry style trade with. And we'll also, by later tonight, we'll give you a full list of position change players to trade with as well. I'm going to put a list in after the chem style video is out. Then I'm going to put in a list after the position change method is out as well. Let's get right into it. So, first we're going to start off on Fumpin', right? People always like to talk to me about who do I chemistry style trade with. Well, it's quite easy. Normally, what you're going to want to look at is the basics, right? If they're a forward or they're a cam, you can use them with a hunter. If they are center backs, right backs, left backs, CDMs, you look for shadow. Now, center mids, all right, traditional center mids can go with a hunter or a shadow. And left mids and right mids can both go with shadows and hunters as well. They both sell. So, let's first look at a couple different players, right? I can look at any of these players. I put on the FIFA 21 database... I put center forward and striker because I like to do this with guys that are kind of central players. It doesn't have to be like that, though. It could take that away. All right. PS price between 2K and 35K. And now we can look at any player I want to. So maybe I want to start off with Jaden Sancho, okay? He's currently 35,000 coins. Now, here is how I'm going to do this method. I'm going to look up Jaden Sancho's price at the moment. And I'm going to see what the cheapest one is on the market. The cheapest Jaden Sancho looks like he's going for about 35,000 coins, okay? That's the cheapest one. So what you could do then is you could put the chemistry style Hunter here because that's what he goes for, obviously. Now, with a Hunter, this card is selling for about 37,538, it looks like. So realistically, this isn't the best player to do with because the, the, the gap isn't huge, but you could see what the concept is here. Uh, we'll go to a couple different guys in this video as well and see if we can find snipes on them. Um, so right there, 35.7 got put up. We're looking more of like a 34, 34.5. Uh, and, you know, this guy might not be the best to do this with because he only has a 2, 2.5k with a hunter. But this normally works for most cards on the market, really. You just got to see if there's a big enough gap. Let's go to how about Laporte. All right, Laporte is currently on this list at 24,000, okay? We're going to take a look at what he goes for with a, with a normal price first. And then we're going to take a look. Uh, actually, he's more than that on Fuppin. He is looking like 27 right now on Fuppin. Now we're going to want to look and see what he goes for with a Shadow Chem style on him. Because that's what center backs get. So with Shadow, not a big enough gap. So I'm going to move on, right? I'm going to move on. How about Bernardo Silva? No, nah, that's, a, that's a fodder card. Let me find a card that's like a meta player that people would actually like to use. How about, not nah, Lukaku's too high right now. Let me find a player for you guys really quickly. Uh, Ricardo Pereira. Let's go Ricardo Pereira. We're first gonna take a look and show you guys how much he's going for on the market. And then all you need to look at is see how much is he going for with a shadow card. So it looks like he's 19K, a little bit maybe lower than that. But you look and see what he goes for with a shadow and he's around what price? Around 21.5? Yeah, 21.5, 21.2. So you could slap at 19 and you could sell at 21 minimum, which means that that is about 900 coins a card by sniping this. And this, they they show up like hotcakes, man. They literally show up a lot. Um, I'm doing this at a time right now at 6 p.m. my time, which is 11 UK or and uh, 12 a.m. Europe. So people have started to go to bed, but I'm gonna try to get a couple deals for you guys. 
on this video to show you how effective this is. Now, you just saw him sell at 21.25 there. So now that you know that he sells at that, now you can uh, sell him at that price too because you know he sells at that. So we're just going to compare a price here. And you got to be quick because there's so many kids that are on this stuff right now. They're always trying to make coins. But this method is amazing. The chemistry style method is my favorite way to trade right now. Uh, until we really get more special cards, more you know teams where I can actually fluctuation trade more. Um, I'm really enjoying this method. So I'm going to kind of reset here and see if 21.2 got bought. The menus are super laggy. All right, so this still hasn't gotten bought with a shadow. But I'm going to keep sniping. I'm going to keep being persistent and seeing if I can get one uh, for cheaper. Now, the reason why this works is because people don't think about the chem style on the player when they're listing up the card on the market. So that's why this method is so good is because you can look at a guy like Ricardo Pereira and somebody might think to themselves, I'll just list for the cheapest one because I want my card to sell, not knowing it has the shadow card on it. And what ends up happening is he actually goes for three to 4K more. Reason why shadows and hunters go for about three to 4K each they add a value to the card, right? And when it comes to buying these players, people don't look up Ricardo Pereira at the cheapest price and then buy the shadow outright as well. They buy the card with the shadow. And that's why this method works so well because it fits so many different teams. Uh, it fits those requirements. He's not popping up. So I need to move on to a different player. I need to move on to a guy. Let's go to like a lower budget guy. How about like a guy like Rashika maybe? Maybe like a guy like Rashika with a Hunter, okay? We first need to look at what he's going for right now. So right now, it looks like he's going for probably like 2,000. Am I going to really not get one on this video, by the way? I want to show you guys how to make coins with this. Right, so he's 2.4. We're going to put him up at Hunter, and let's see where he's at right now. With a Hunter, he's 5.3. Now, if you don't know if it's going to sell, you're going to put him on your transfer targets and make sure it sells before you go and do the player, Okay. 5.3 sold now we move right now we know that 5.3 sells we're looking for 3k we're looking for 3.5 we're looking for 4k all right we're trying to look for any rashikas here with a hunter and this is what i'm talking about you could do this and actually this is better like i'm showing you guys people are buying these cards for the difference in price so i don't even have to make coins on this video to show you that this does work i'm at a time on the market where many listings may not come up but it's still effective, right? You can do this at any time of the day, and you should be able to make coins on this. I'm just I'm just unlucky like this, where I'm not finding any cards right now that are undercuts. But you could see how you know people are buying these cards. Uh, you saw the Ricardo Pereira get ball with the shadow at 21.2, even though he's going for like 18.5. You saw the Rashika sell for 5.3, even though he goes for like 2.4, right? People want to use these cards for their starter teams, they want to use some other cards for their high meta teams. And that's why this is good. Another reason why this is great to use as well is because this method is mostly lower budget, which means you're working with low tax. Even if you were to buy a Rashika at 4.7 and you're like, oh my God, I got a terrible deal. Well, if you sell it at 5.3, you're still making like 350 coins on that. And that's why this thing works so well because you're working with low tax. It's low risk, high reward type of trading. And that's great. 5.3 got put up there. This guy must be trolling me at this point. Why the hell are you putting it up at 5.3? It gets bought right away, right? Let me go on my transfer list just to see if it got bought, actually. Um, I've been doing so much chem style trading, guys. It's it's ridiculous. 5.3 is literally insta-selling, boys, okay? 5.3 is literally insta-selling. So I'm trying to get one for, like, in the forest. I want to get one up before this video ends here, chat. I just called you guys chatting it. Guys, I streamed for six hours today or five hours. I, I will say, chat, once a video, I think, may... Yes! I got one on the fucking video. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we got one on the video. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put them up for the price that we know. That is about 3,200 coins, I believe. And I had to lean in a little bit there because... And the 5.5 just sold as well, by the way. All right. So, you know, these guys are like flying off the shelves like hotcakes, man. Let me see if Rashika sold. He did not sell yet, but he will sell in this video, I think. That is how you do the chemistry style method. It works with any type of player, obviously not goalkeepers, but it works with anybody, right? You can even look at guys like on this list, right? You know, Guerrero at 4K. You can look with a shadow or you can look with a hunter. Coleman, right? Let's go look at Coleman really quickly. Let me see if I sold this card. I'll say 72 if it sold. Come on, are you are you are you telling me my Rashika is not gonna sell even though mine's the cheapest one? 
Unbelievable. But you saw those two sell, right? Um, 5.6. So if we really want to see how high this card's going to go, we'll keep on putting stuff on the transfer targets to see, like, maybe next time I don't list at 5.3. Maybe I list at 5.5. And this, for me, guys, is my favorite method. Position change is also very good, which will be in the next video. But I'm going to give you guys a full list of players in the Discord to trade with like this. This is going to be about 50 to 70 players with the Hunters and the Shadows in that list. So you guys are going to definitely want to get involved with the Discord. I know I had been advertising it over the last couple of days, giving the Discord link out to you guys. But I think the Discord will really help you out. Um, I'll also do maybe a method. I'm obviously going to do position change. I'll start trying to show you guys trend trading as well. I'll show you guys how to do that stuff. Let me see if mine sold real quick. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Mine's the cheapest by 300. All of a sudden, the, the buying power for Ashika just went down. I'm trying to literally see this card sell. Look at all the sales, by the way, guys. Just the amount of sales. We've been running the Nyglin market, Rodrigo. You know, just been making so many coins recently. It's been so nice to see. It's been so refreshing. Come on, man. He's a striker. Come on. Come on. He's going to sell at any point here. I've also got a lot of stuff over here trying to... Uh, to flip those later tonight. I got Zechariah here at 24. Or 20k. I set up for 25. Oh my. He's actually not going to sell right now. You guys literally saw these two sell. And now all of a sudden he's not going to sell. That's insane. Alright. I don't want to drag this video out. You guys get the point of the video. Alright. You saw these two sell at 5.3. Mine's going to sell. Obviously I'm going to make profit. You saw my transfer list. I made profit like that. Thank you guys for watching the video today. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. I'm going to give you guys a full list in the Discord. Thank you guys all for the support on the YouTube recently. I really do appreciate it. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new right here. And I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.